three, that I'm at a four fifty. Take your spuds. Give them a rinse, get all the dirt off them. Now we're gonna try and do this with a little less oil and a little less stick into the pan. So take a colander, put it in a bowl. Now we're cutting these real thin, like we do. To get them to stick less, you need to pick up some of the water. So the way you do that is by adding salt. They need to be assaulted. <laughs> Don't worry about putting too much salt on. This is salt that's mostly just to pull the water out. And it'll, some of it will go away with the water. So it's not like how much salt you're putting on it now is how much salt it's going to have. And I would also make sure to break up all of the potatoes that are stuck together, like these ones here. That way the, uh, the salt's able to get in and pull from more angles. So these have sat for a while. You can already see all the water underneath that. And if I give it a little shake, see the water continuing to come out. Get rid of that. This water is actually kind of brown. Probably just shows that I didn't clean the potatoes super well. But these are organic potatoes from a farm I uh, trust and know. I'm not worried about chemicals or pesticides or herbicides. I shouldn't say chemicals because literally this is just a big bowl of chemicals right here. Everything is chemicals. Get that last bit of water dripping out. If you want to get these even more dry, you take a clean towel um, and just kind of lay these out on the towel and then pat them dry even more. And that'll get a little bit more moisture from them. And what this is going to do is this is going to help reduce that stick. So you won't have to put as much oil on and such. Okay. Put all of these into a bowl. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil on them. I am a big fan of cumin, just paprika. I don't have garlic powder. Jack pepper. I ran out of garlic powder, so I have to chop some fresh garlic. All right, that garlic in there. Toss this all around. Make sure everything gets well mixed. Spread them one layer thin on the cookie sheet. These will shrink a little bit, so if you have some overlap, that's gonna be okay. All right, I said one layer thin, but I lied. I'm just trying to get these all on. And I don't feel like doing more than one load. They're going into the oven. Yeah. I'm gonna leave those in there for like 10 or so minutes. Time to check on these. Spatula, just toss them around. Pop those back in for a bit. Check on these again. Look at that, not a single one stick into the pan. Back in. Round three, it's starting to crisp up a little bit. One thing that's gonna keep them from crisping too much is if they're still stacked on top of each other because it's really when they're touching the cookie sheet that they get crispy. So I'm gonna take some of these and eat them because they should be cooked all the way through. And that way I'll be able to spread the rest out more evenly. Single layer now. They should be cooked, so if you're not into like super crispy fries, now would be a great time to eat them. Leave them in the oven until they're as crispy as you want. One thing I try and do generally is just avoid eating sugar. Ketchup has a lot of sugar in it, so if you spice your fries like this, you get like a nice flavor without having to put sugar on it. Enjoy. Thanks so much for watching that video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification button. Leave a comment, like, share, all those things. Uh, and I will see you next Wednesday with a brand new recipe.